Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 review and today we're doing another What If video so yeah we've got a quite and a good one today I think so yeah prefer to see that in a minute because yeah this is going to be good I've, I've just read the comment and I really do like this idea so yeah but before we get into that guys I just want to quickly say we hit 3,600 subscribers so just a huge thanks to everyone who subscribed left like comments just watches videos in general just a huge thanks to you because we have made it to 3,600 so we are closing in on that 4,000 barrier and we are definitely going to be doing a live stream for the 4,000 special so it's going to be a lot of fun once we get there but yeah we are closing in on that 4k so obviously if you haven't subscribed already subscribe helps me join to 4000 massive thanks to everyone again i just cannot thank you guys enough and also i have a discord as well so if you've not joined my discord yet i'll leave a link to it in the description so yeah there is that there and also i do i there will be a video about this on my discord server being made tomorrow so stay tuned for that um if you're in the discord of course but um yeah without further ado let's get into this so what we are doing today is we are going to turn all of the planets' orbits into hours. So if you don't get what I mean, Mercury here, for instance, if we go to motion, it takes 87.6 days. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn that to 87.6 hours. So 86.7 like that, then this is going to happen. Mercury is going to be a lot closer since its days have now turned to hours. So this is going to be insane. So there it is there. There's Mercury. So then same with Venus. Oh, this is going to be really cool. So Venus is 225 days. So we're going to have that as 225 hours. So it goes then Earth is obviously 365. So that's one year. So obviously days, 366 it says there. So we'll go to hours, 366, which doesn't matter. They're pretty much the same thing anyway. Oh my God, they're getting so close. Then we've got... Um, Mars up next, which is 1.88 years, so in days, 687, so let's go 6, 8, 7, oh this is going to be really, really cool once we click play, I'll definitely save the simulation before um, we hit play as well, series, we'll do series as well, why not, so hours, so, oh wait, um, how many days, so 1,679, oh, so, 1679. There we go. Oh, look at this. Look how close Ceres is. That is literally the same distance as Mercury's original orbit. So, this guy. Poor, poor Ceres. Okay, next up, we won't do the rest of the asteroid belt objects. So, Jupiter. So, the big planet. This is going to cause a lot of trouble having Jupiter that close to the sun. Um, 11.9 years. So, in hours. That's quite a lot of hours. So it's 103,844. So, oh no, no, days, sorry. So 4,228. Okay, so 4238. So it does that. Oh my god. Okay, so Saturn. So in hours, hours, hours. So that's that. No, no, day, days, days. So 10,757. So 10,557. Wait, was it that? Oh, uh, wait, hang on. I don't know what it was. I, I just... My mind's just messed up. Um... Um... What was... Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops. Um... I don't know what it was. I'm assuming it's around here. Um... Let me just save this sim quick. We are going to do that again. <laughs> let me just save that. I need to quickly check. I, my mind just cut out there. Saturn is... If we just go to it. Saturn. You are... So in days, 1,793. So we need to that in hours. So 1,793. Okay, I got to remember that. So 1,793. Okay, so, so my simulation. So is it? Uh, I think it's this one. So if we go there. No, it's not that one. Uh, which one is it? Um, That one, it's this one. So it's 1,000. So let's just go 10,700. Um, so... Oh, it's not even orbiting anymore. Okay, so we're going to have to delete that. Add a new one in. Around, so it's there. And 10,700. So, we'll just put it as that. Let's just round it up. So, hours. So, 10,700. That's pretty much the exact, right? There we go. That looks about right. So, that should be fine. I know it's not exactly the same, but my mind just cut out there. <laughs> the numbers are getting bigger. So, days... 30,258. Okay, so 3258. There we go. It says custom Uranus. Um, Neptune. Good old Neptune. So, yeah, you can clearly see this is getting bigger and bigger. So, that's hours, days. 
60,239. Oh my god. 60,239. Wow. <laughs> that is that is in the asteroid belt sort of distances now. That is insane. Um, then we'll do Pluto as well, and then we'll do like Sedna and Planet 9. So, uh, days. 91,387. Okay. 91,387. Here we go. Okay. Um, Sedna. Yeah. Because since you're like one of the main objects, I guess. So, days. Um, I think I'll take a pass on Sedna. Uh, and Planet Nine. That's a little too big. And I don't think it would really make a difference. We'll just do it with the um, the good old planets and Pluto. So, alright, let's roll. So, we're going to save this as... Uh, we'll just call it days to hours. So, there we go. Days to hours. Right. This is going to be insane. We'll slow down time. Because I reckon this isn't going to last long. So we'll go to a few minutes. So here's Mercury. And look at the number. These since they're a lot closer. We'll, we'll be able to spot the other planets from each other now. So we we'll just do that. If we go to flashlight. Oh no we can't actually. I'm surprised. Mercury is just there. But we can't actually see it. Oh, how how okay, so we should head towards it. So Mercury is. Yeah, we're travelling quite far here. So there's Mercury there. Now Venus, you can just see it. You can see. I, I think I can see it right there. Yeah, that's a little dot, so you can spot Venus as well. Okay, right. So they are relatively still far apart. Okay. So, trails. Play. Right. Let's see. Okay. So as we can see, as I'm pretty sure a lot of you guessed, since they're a lot closer, they're gonna heat up. So poor old Earth. Yep, you're evaporating now, oh dear. If we just look at that. You can see in the picture at the top, all of its water is just evaporating away. So, yeah, poor, poor Earth, look at that, wow. <laughs> so that just drained within minutes, or within a few hours, I should say. So let's just um, delete those particles, get rid of them. Um, Mars, how are you doing? 300 degrees, Ceres, 200 degrees, and it reflect and it, it pretty much absorbs all of its light. So, yeah, there's Ceres. Um, Jupiter is there. So even Jupiter's warming up, as you can see Jupiter there. Uh, Saturn is going to warm up as well. Obviously Neptune. Neptune's still cold, it'll probably take a little longer to warm up. It probably won't get above minus 100 though. Pluto, minus 223. Uh, Saturn, how are you doing? Minus 130. Yeah, okay. So, I reckon there may be a collision in the inner solar system here. So, let's go over the orbits. So, here are the new orbits. So, we're a lot closer to the Sun now. So, we've got this little mini system here. So, yeah, they're all closer than the orbit of Jupiter now. The original orbit of Jupiter. So, if we speed up now, let's actually really get this sped up. So, Mercury is now permanently at 1,000 degrees pretty much. Uh, we've got Venus here, which is almost 2,000 degrees. Um, Earth, how are you doing? 500 degrees. So Earth is um, sort of turned into Venus now, it's sort of around that temperature. So there is Earth. Completely burnt up. So let's just delete all those particles again. Mars, 300 degrees. Okay, it's still um, nothing has happened. I'm surprised. The orbits, which I think they'd start to wobble, but maybe since they're all equally... Oh god, my voice has just completely died there. So yeah, since they're all equally close to the sun maybe maybe nothing will happen you can see obviously mercury's always wobbling but i believe it always does that so if we speed this up doesn't seem like much is happening i have to say maybe we should try this with minutes turn the hours to minutes that could be pretty hectic but yeah we could do that in another video but this is pretty interesting though because i thought this would actually all collide but it seems like since all the planets are equally they're still pretty much the same sort of percentage distance away from each other. Doesn't seem like they want to collide it. It seems like the system is just acting normally, but on a smaller scale. So everything is closer to the sun, but because they're still at the same sort of distances away from each other, like percentage wise, I think it honestly is fine. I, I think this will actually stay like this forever. I don't think anything's gonna happen. Obviously the planets will get hotter. Not many will survive the red giant sun now, since the sun will get a lot bigger. So we can obviously test that theory out as well. But um, yeah, it seems like, to conclude, if all the planets days around the sun, their, or their, their amount of days it takes to orbit the star, if they did turn to hours all those days, nothing would happen. It, obviously, apart from the planets warming up, nothing happens. No collisions. Like we've been running it, We'll keep running it as fast as we can go here. Doesn't seem like anything's going to happen. That seems all perfectly stable. The orbits are not even wobbling. Maybe, maybe the ones on the outer solar system are. Like these ones out here. Yeah, they are wobbling a little bit. But that's because Jupiter's obviously closer to the sun. But overall, all of the planets that have been moved, they're doing fine. 
like nothing there's no it doesn't seem like it's going to be any collisions so there you go that is what happens if um they all turn to hours but obviously in the future the sun is going to get a lot bigger so we're going to put a red giant sun in here and just see how far away it would um yeah so if we put that there jupiter would actually get destroyed by the red giant sun so if we just hit um we go auto orbit so auto orbit oh this option's all changed and then play the whole inner solar system will go and saturn will be the closest planet to the sun which um then again it, it sort of makes sense because obviously if you add ui scotty to the solar system at eight when and leave it the way it is like if you don't make the orbits change in any way ui scotty will make saturn the closest planet to the obviously will be make it the closest planet to the star so yeah it's just basically it's just this will literally just make our solar system on a smaller scale and the planets will increase in temperature and nothing else seems to happen so obviously instead of uh, mercury being the hot planet obviously saturn is now the hot planet so there we go and obviously if we go to a just a whole new uh, solar system here so if we just go to um solar system so go here if we do the same with us scotty but we don't get rid of um or don't change the orbits of the planets so us scotty is here if we put you in the middle saturn will be the closest planet here as well so as you can see yeah um saturn is yeah saturn's the closest star or planet now but obviously i haven't pressed auto orbit so it will crash in but yeah saturn is uh, would be made the closest planet so yeah jupiter would be put in the danger zone um for the red giant sun if um obviously when it turns to that but yeah there we go guys i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more and um, we can play it again just to be sure but i really don't think anything's gonna happen so my sim um so it's that i oh, no, no no i called it something else didn't i i called it um hours yeah days to hours so yeah if we just do this again hit play yeah exactly like nothing happens like we can go on uh orbits here mercury's orbit wobbles like it did before but yeah nothing nothing wants to happen so yeah i guess to end this off we can um play around with the uh simulation speed settings so if we if i can find it um which one was it on it was on um if i speed this up there we go so learn more the no 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 i don't want to do that it's get yeah no no get out of here close it was was it tools no, i can't remember what it was view because they have changed the menu i'm sure it was this option here oh view is it i can't find the option where you speed things up um i guess we'll have to do the tutorial i guess and so it can tell me where to find this option but so speed this up no more yeah show me can can you is he gonna do anything Gen i don't know actually where that option's gone there used to be an option where you could change the yeah you used to be able to change something to make objects speed up even quicker but it looks like i can't find it so i'll have to find it in my own time sadly but yeah it seems like yeah as you can see nothing happens at all so there you go that that is it guys so hopefully you enjoyed this video like i said make sure if you did hit that like button subscribe for more helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers because that would be amazing and yeah let us know uh, let me know your thoughts um down below in the comments on this and if you've got any more ideas leave them in the comments of the videos or the discord server and yeah that is everything so i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye